For the spooky season, I want to cover some horror games. One that came out recently that I thought from the trailers looked interesting was Zucosis. Before I give my thoughts on Zucosis, these are just my opinions after playing the game for four hours, because that's when I honestly lost interest in it. And if you want to voice your opinion about the game, that's what the comment section is for. Let's start this a little differently than usual. Where Zucosis falls on my scale of game rankings is in the litany of problems category. And I want to talk about why. I don't think it's entirely a dog shit game, and it does some things decently, but it also misses on a lot of levels, at least for me. Let's talk about what Zucosis does decently first. Zucosis' atmosphere is creepy. The night atmosphere in the zoo is done well. With small tunnels to get from the tram to the exhibits, it does give you a bit of a claustrophobic feel. And with having little lighting in each of the exhibits and the tunnels, it does add to the game's creepiness. The other area Zucosis hits decently is in the designs of the mutants. Each mutant looks weird and horrific, if you can see them in the light or like silhouetted on the sky. They have an interesting look to them. That's the main thing about them. And from an art direction, I like the look of them. But I'll be honest, those are the two things I can say that I liked about the game. Now let's talk about the ways the game misses, or the problems I think the game has. First thing is that Zucosis' gameplay loop is repetitive and very predictable. Your normal gameplay loop is this. Put the food on the train, go to the exhibit, cut food up, take food into exhibit, feed animals, dump the food in the trough, basically. Then you collect their shit, their blood, their temperature, and their noise levels. After that, you go back to the train and analyze the samples. You find out what's wrong with some of the animals, you make the medicine to cure them. You do this in every single exhibit. It is a very repetitive, boring set of tasks that I didn't experience any change in. These tasks I would have been okay with if this was like a zoo simulator game instead of a horror game. To make it a bit more, you know, survival horror-ish, it would have been nice to have some randomness in there. The medicine gets corrupted somehow when making it, or there wasn't enough blood for a good sample from the animals, like something like that to create a variation in what you have to do and kind of disrupt this little constant routine. It just would have made it a bit more interesting. Once you get back to the train, after, you know, doing all of your stuff in the exhibit, that's when the predictable events start to happen. After you go back to the train to make medicine and head back towards the exhibit to cure the animals that are sick, one of them always mutates. It's not just a chance that one of them will mutate, it's every time. Every exhibit I went to, other than the tutorial exhibit, this happened. I'll be honest, I jumped the first like one or two times, but after it happened for like the third time, I just figured it was going to happen every time then. And I was right. Every time it happened, and the novelty quickly wore away. And it wasn't a good jump scare at all anymore, because I knew it was coming. It became predictable, and it therefore didn't really become scary anymore. When something becomes this predictable in a horror game, it just doesn't work. If it had a 1 in 3 chance of happening, then it could be less predictable and actually be used as a decent scare tactic. But with it happening every time, it's not scary anymore. But there was something that was horrifically terrifying about the game and that is the shooting controls with the dart injector gun. It doesn't feel good to use. It swings wildly if you aim around too fast, or if you're walking around, it feels like your character's arms just became jello. I can get that the guy isn't used to using a dart gun. I get that as, you know, the story reason. But this thing can't weigh more than like five to 10 pounds, and a grown man should be able to handle it without just flailing about everywhere. It's just not good. The good thing is though that every mutant only needs three hits with lethal injections to take them down. If it was any more than that, this game would have pissed me off rather than just bored me. 
Now we get to the elephant in the room for me. No, not one of these guys, but the biggest issue or problem for me. I came into Zucosis looking at it as a horror game because that's what it was billed as. And that's what like, you know, the trailers built it up as, but I don't find it scary or really all that anxiety inducing of a horror game. It even says it in their freaking bio and their tags on Steam that it's a horror game. Yes, the atmosphere of the game is creepy, but the jump scares are so frequent and predictable that it just loses all of that creepy atmosphere it tries to build up. It's nothing like in the trailers where you watch them mutate because the animals mutate off screen. And I think this is the biggest complaint people have other than, you know, it crashed for a lot of people or there are a lot of bugs. If that wasn't the big draw of the game through the trailers, then I'd forgive them for that. You can pull off body horror by not showing the actual transformation. Look at Still Wake the Deep, what they do, which I'll be covering later in this month, probably right on Halloween. But Zucosis have featured the body horror stuff so prominently in the trailers that it's disappointing that it's not there. I also think there's a problem with their scope creep. According to the devs, there are 23 different endings to Zucosis that all depend on the choices you make throughout the playthrough. That honestly feels far too ambitious for a small dev team that has only made two mascot horror games, according to like their website and their Steam page. Sure, in Zucosis, the endings are basically a block of text and that's it. But you know, maybe if they had stuck to at most five endings at launch, then they could have made them much more interesting and, you know, maybe done more animations and cutscenes and stuff to amplify that it's the ending or to give more closure to the story. That's just what I think. In the end, Zucosis was just a disappointing horror game experience. And that's why it lands so low on my list in Litany of Problems, because that's kind of what the game felt like. It's just a lot of problems or like misses when it comes to a lot of their stuff. I quickly got bored with the game and just stopped playing it because it is, in my opinion, a boring, repetitive, predictable experience that wasn't scary or interesting enough for me to keep playing. There were some pluses to the game, but they couldn't offset the negatives for me. And that's kind of where I stand on Zucosis. And that's gonna be all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please do all the algorithm stuff and leave that comment about your thoughts on the game. Also, I hope you have a royal day or night and I will talk to you later.